every time that we look out this window or we look out the windows in the cupola, we're absolutely amazed. And, uh, and uh, the same thing goes for being on board a space shuttle. And I would say that two nights ago, I probably saw the most amazing thing I have ever seen in space. And that's saying an awful lot because every day is filled with amazing things. And that was we were flying over Tasmania. We had actually just seen the storms in the South Pacific over the Philippines. and. Uh, uh, it was nighttime, thunderstorms lighting up the entire sky. And then just before the sun came up, the Earth's limb was, you know, lit up as a sliver of uh, blue and, uh, and purple. And then there was this long green arc that extended probably 10 degrees or so from the horizon. Um, actually, from the perspective of the cupola, which in which case we're upside down, up up, you know, in my field of view, upwards. In fact, it disappeared behind the gem. At least 10 degrees, I think, 20 Earth, or 20 moon diameters, if you think about it in those terms. And I had no idea what it was. It was a long, green, glowing arc. And uh, turns out it ended up, be ended up being a comet that uh, somebody in Tasmania had seen about the same time, Comet Lovejoy, that had passed about 140,000 kilometers from the surface of the th sun. When it disappeared behind the sun, I think astronomers thought it would not appear again. It probably would burn up. But it's probably the most spectacular thing you can imagine. And from the vantage point of space, it's different than seeing it from planet Earth because there's no intervening atmosphere to see. So we took some uh, really neat pictures last night of it, about 100 or so, that we hope to make a movie out of. But uh, just wanted to toss that out in case you're interested. It's quite a place.